Hi, I'm Delusion Dispeller. I'm going to talk to you today about Asperger's Disorder. People with Asperger's tend to be very deep thinkers. They tend to take words very literally and may not notice verbal cues. They don't automatically know proper etiquette, like smiling at people, eye contact, and saying hello. They tend to talk over people's heads in complicated language using odd words sometimes with very good ability to recite memorized steps of things and ritualistic type of conversations. They are very insistent on their personal rules being followed and they do not handle change to their plans well. They are very set on having their way and their methods untampered with and will have a meltdown if you change their modus operandi. People with Asperger's can be very creative. They might be poets, artists, and other types of creative types of uh, forms. They are highly intelligent people. They have a multi-level ability to think about things. They tend to be very analytical and they question things ad nauseum. They are very serious individuals. Their affect or their facial features are very blank most of the time. They can be very complex. They are often lost in their own thoughts. They are very naive in some ways. They're very honest people without inhibitions. And the interesting thing about Asperger people or people with Asperger's is that they don't understand somebody tricking or deceiving another person or being cruel to another person because they themselves would not ever intentionally do this. They are very honest and do not have inhibitions about certain things. They are easily tricked, duped, and deceived because they don't get that somebody is just playing with their head, so they trust people. Um, they feel very confused and overwhelmed easily. They feel a lot of times like they don't belong here, like they're not from the earth, like they came from some other planet or something like that. They feel distanced and cut off from other people. They often uh, were abused as children and they didn't ever think to tell anybody about it. When there's, they start feeling too much emotion, they will often escape through thoughts and actions and pattern thinking. They can become very obsessed and obsessive and be very over-focused on certain topics. They tend to be fantasizers or daydreamers. They are very good imitators and impersonators of people. They may have trouble understanding where their bodies begin and end in relationship to the objects around them or in the room with them. They tend to see people as objects. They are copycats of other people's uh, ways that they dress, their actions, the things they say, mimickers. They are very obsessive about organizing things. They tend to count things a lot. And they love numbers. They will rearrange things in order to calm themselves down and kind of self-soothe. They love to play music repeatedly, many of them. They may have some obsessive compulsive disorder traits. They may have sensory issues, like they might not like the way something feels or tastes or smells. Um, they have to be in certain rooms of certain colors. Certain colors will bother them, for instance. They have anxiety issues, paranoia issues, extreme, deep, intense feelings. A lot of people think Asperger people do not feel anything. On the contrary, they feel everything very intensely, which is why they escape in their thought patterns. They tend to zone out sometimes. Some of them may have poor muscle tone, be double-jointed or uncoordinated. They have problems, many of them, with eating. Um, they may have an eating disorder such as anorexia nervosa or bulimia. They often have gastrointestinal problems and other physical problems. Their immunity is very low at times. They may be diagnosed as being hypochondriacs or having a mental illness. They often have an identity crisis of wondering who they are and why they're here on this planet. They're often very depressed. Stay tuned for more on Asperger's Disorder.